Welcome to a video that I'm entitling Understanding Variable Scope. And in this short video, I want you to understand how variable scope works. It's very similar to any other programming type environment you've ever worked with. And the best way to demonstrate this, I just have a blank project open here in SQL Server Data Tools. And what I'm going to do is just drag a couple of data flow tasks onto the control flow. All right, and so I'll have data flow task and then data flow task one. Now, if I create a variable, it's going to, by default, usually go to the package level. Now, let's talk about how to create a variable. Real quick primer here again, a reminder. Notice up here there's an SSIS menu item. Click that and just choose variables. Left click that, and you should see at the bottom here a variables window pops up. Now, if you don't have this thing pinned up, if you unpin it and it goes away, it will show up down at the very bottom here as a tab. And you can click that and then come back up here and pin it. And then you'll be able to see it here all the time. What I want to do is create a variable. All right, so I'm going to create a variable and I'm just going to call it uh, ML. That's all I have to do to create it. Just click right here on uh, add variable give it a name and then I can choose the data type on it right here. I'll just leave it at int32. I can set an original value or a default value and then I can even set it based on an expression. Talk about expressions later. But I want you to notice what I want to talk about here is the scope. Notice this is at the package level. So if I click on data flow task or even double click and go into it, I can still see my variable, right? Uh, if I switch to my data task one, right? I can still see my variable. If I go back to control flow, I can still see my variable because it is scoped at the package level. So anywhere in the package, I can see it. There's one really cool piece of functionality built in here that wasn't in previous versions. You had to get third party tools to do this. And that is I can change the scope of my variable. So all I have to do is select that line and notice the second button move variable. If I click that, Notice I can select a new scope for this particular variable, and I'm going to put it in data flow task one. And that's going to make it a, a task level variable. So I'll click OK, and you'll notice it's now scoped to data flow task one. If I click out here on the control flow, notice it went away. If I click data flow task, no variable. But if I click data flow task one, there it is. And so that variable is going to be good for any programming that I do inside data flow task one. But notice the minute I go back out to control flow and click and get off data flow task one, the variable goes away. So you'll have to, number one, go find your variable, uh, choose it down here, select it, and then uh, you can move it wherever you would like it to go. Okay, so watch the scope on these. You will see this on the exam. Watch for situations where variables are out of scope and you're trying to read them, but you can't see them and all that sort of thing. You can just, safest thing to do is always set it on package and then you'll be able to see it everywhere. 